It is the most celebrated holiday for the Chinese, filled with family reunions, joyous and festive atmosphere in all the cities and villages. As a foreigner living in China, I look forward to this season every year. And today I want to introduce you to the Chinese New Year culture and what it means for us. Chinese people wear the Tang costume during important holidays and celebrations, signifying joy and happiness. The Tang costume has a history of over 1,000 years, and today I've donned my own Tang costume in hopes that the festive atmosphere will rub off on me. During the Chinese New Year, Chinese people will hang the Red Lantern, which is a symbol of reunion and prosperity. The original Red Lanterns came about during the Western Han Dynasty, and today they really characterize Chinese festivity. When you walk around the cities and towns, you get a sense of all the different varieties, the different shapes and sizes. Some of them have prayers written on them, other rooms are decorated in a floral pattern. So beautiful. Another traditional custom uh, during the Chinese New Year is that Chinese families will put red couplets over the doors of their homes. And I have over here a master who's going to help me get some of my own. Okay. And I've asked him to write for me Ji uh, Xiang Rui, which basically means love and peace. Wow. The skill is impressive. He's very quick with the brush. Ying <laughs> Chuan. Ah, Shishini, Shishini. All right. So, what the words do is they convey great expectations for the coming year, as well as uh, aspirations for a better life. All right. So this one says Ying uh, Chuan, Ying Shi, Ying Fu Gui. And over here we have Jie Fu Jie Cai Jie Ping An. And these are going to go on the front door of my house for the Chinese New Year. After doing the Chinese one, I'm going to do it in English. Ah, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so the master here helped me do some English writing, of course. So we've got try next year to be the boss and work very hard, but not too late. Of course, just do it. All right. <laughs> <This is inny. laughs> the children have gathered together in a community organized folklore activity where they will write on Open the Door. Let's check this out. So these young children here are making these uh, printed papers. Now, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. But my friend Kathy here has agreed to show me step by step. So Kathy, how do we do this? Can you show us? Sure. First, you get a brush and put a bit of ink, but not too much. And then we slowly get brush it around this print. OK. And then we put the paper on top of it. And slowly Just kind we of Sort of like patted, patted or okay. And one All stand. right, very good. That's really great. Look at that. That's pretty yeah. impressive. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. You're now, welcome. <laughs> now these little red pieces of papers, uh, they include um, uh, phrases on them that basically will chew away all of the the beasts of Chinese New Year, as well as give prayers for peace. And uh, during uh, Chinese New Year's Eve, uh, these young children will roam the streets and place these all over the town. And it has become a traditional custom here in the village of Shaxi. I have to do one myself. OK, so okay. we'll put a little bit of ink on there. <laughs> OK, I think. Kathy's a really good teacher. All right, OK, and place it on top. And then pat it a little bit. Yes. OK. And then carefully take it off. Carefully take it off. And one oh. star. That one. Okay. That one's a good one, right? I can keep yeah. this one. All right. You can keep this one. It looks fairly simple. Tell me if I'm doing it wrong, okay? <laughs> All right. A little, a little more glue, okay? A 
Is that right? Is that that? Kathy's the expert. <laughs> there we go. During the Spring Festival, there are many folk performances, and here in the village of Shengshu, the Phoenix Dance and the Dragon Dance are very special. And these young folk artists will parade around the town, and they become quite the attraction, not just for the local villagers, but for tourists alike. Come, let's check this out. Hello! Oh, are we ready? Yes. All right, let's try it. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> so during not just the Spring Festival, but every major Chinese holiday, these young people will roam the streets of the, of the village and perform this uh, tradition. For over 400 years in this village, they've been practicing this tradition. And these young people are learning it and carrying on that tradition, and then their children after them. Today I've experienced the culture of the Chinese New Year in Zhongshan, and I've been enriched in the exciting atmosphere of the festival. The way we celebrate Chinese New Year may transform over time, but the fondness for family and the yearning for a happy life will never change for the Chinese people. Happy Year of the Tiger! Yeah!